Whether you're a seasoned problem solver or just getting started, we all know how frustrating it can be when we hit a wall during a creative process. You're sitting there staring at your invention thinking, why is this so hard? <laughs> well, today I've got a little secret weapon for you, a system designed specifically to help you break through those tough problems. It's called Triz. Hi, Lisa Lloyd here with more tips and tricks to accelerate your invention licensing success. Your support means everything to me and you can help me make more free videos like this when you like, subscribe, and leave comments below. And if you're curious to learn more, then please check out the links below for more information and resources for inventors. So what is Triz? No, it's not a new app or new AI. Triz actually stands for Theory of Inventive Problem Solving. And it was created by a brilliant Russian engineer named Genrik Altschuler. Now, he studied thousands of patents to figure out how inventors could solve problems. And guess what? He found patterns. He discovered that many problems could be solved using similar strategies, and he turned that into a system that we can use to get creative solutions fast. All right, imagine that you're trying to open a stubborn pickle jar. You twist and twist, but it's just not budging. That's your problem. Now you might think, do I need superhuman strength for this? But hold on, Triz can help. Triz suggests that instead of using more force, you look for ways to eliminate the force altogether. So what if you just tap the jar lid to break that vacuum seal, or use a rubber grip to really grab and hold it? Boom, problem solved with less effort and a smarter approach. See, Triz encourages you to think outside that box and look for ways to fix problems by using what is already around you in new and inventive ways. Now, Triz is built on 40 principles, but don't worry, <laughs> I'm not gonna make you memorize all of them. But I will share just a couple of the fun ones so that we can play around with it and it can help you maybe right away with whatever inventions you're working on today. Then you can look up the Triz principles to learn more about how they can help you after this video. I'll put a link to that below. First, let's look at segmentation. The principle here tells us to break things down into smaller parts to make them more manageable. So for example, Say the challenge is traveling with your bicycle. At first glance, you might think that you need to just live with the problem. But what if you considered redesigning the bike by segmenting it into pieces, like a bike that folds in half or even thirds? Suddenly, it's portable and practical. I know this already exists, but it's a really good example of how segmentation could work for you. Now, the next time your invention feels like it's too bulky or complicated, think about how breaking it down into parts could simplify the design as a solution for you. Another cool principle is parameter changes. Sometimes a simple change in your product's characteristics like size, shape, or color can solve a problem. Imagine that you're inventing a portable fan. It's powerful, but it also has a little too big or bulky kind of shape for people to carry around easily. So instead of reworking the whole thing, what if you could just change its shape a little bit to make it collapsible or extendable? Now you've got something that's easy to carry and still gets the job done. I used this principle when I reinvented this contour clip. It used to just have one tooth on the bottom, but it would always slide out of your hair. By reimagining having three teeth on the bottom, that simple improvement dramatically improved its hold so that it doesn't slide, and it ultimately became one of Helen of Troy's best-selling hair accessories of all time. It's all about looking at your invention from a different angle and asking, what could I change to make this better? Now let's take a quick detour and talk about one of my favorite real world examples of inventive problem solving, Velcro. Velcro was invented by a Swiss engineer, George de Mastral, after he got curious about the burrs sticking to his dog's fur during a walk. 
that's pretty normal day when you just discover or have an aha moment. Instead of just brushing the burrs off and moving on, he looked at the burrs and discovered under a mic microscope that they were actually tiny little hooks. And that inspired him to create Velcro, which uses the same hook and loop principle. Triz would have called this copying nature's method. And it's a great reminder that inspiration for your invention can come from the most unexpected places. See how fun this can be? <laughs> By analyzing what's around us, whether it's nature or everyday problems or even past inventions, we can find new ways to solve challenges. Triz isn't just for scientists or engineers. It's a toolkit for anyone who's inventing something new. Whether you're working on a game-changing gadget or a clever new kitchen tool, Triz can help you approach problems creatively and effectively. Triz can help you find new ways to solve old problems, simplify complex problems and challenges, or turn limitations into opportunities. The beauty of Triz is that it helps you to get unstuck when you're feeling like there's just no way forward. It's not magic, but it does give you a system and a reliable, reputable system for solving tough problems. So. The next time that you hit a roadblock with your invention, don't stress. Take a deep breath, think like an inventor, and use the principles of Triz to come up with a creative solution. If George de Mistral could turn burrs into Velcro, who knows what amazing ideas you can turn into reality. And I'd like to help you do just that. That's why I created Invention Accelerator. Whether you are a savvy do-it-yourselfer, just looking for answers to your immediate questions, or prefer a more expert guided support, I want to help you invent irresistible products and get you in front of the right people at the right companies to pitch like a pro for license. Guaranteed. Just click on the link below to book a call with me and learn more. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more free tips to bring your inventions to market. Happy inventing.